hi guys welcome back to another video um sorry about how i sound i'm overcoming a cold <clears throat> it sounds worse than it is and i'm definitely past being contagious so thankfully we can go ahead with what our plans are for today which are so special um so special in fact that i've just exited the tube excuse me missy um at south kensington and started to cry <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're going to the V&A today to go to the Chanel exhibition. I'm so glad I managed to get tickets for us. Um, and it's just really special because this is like, like obviously I've been out with her a lot myself, um, but it is mainly local, um, or going to family's house. This is like our first mummy daughter special day out. I'm gonna start trying to do these weekly, vlog them and she can watch them when she's older. Um, and see what we got up to and yeah those of you that know my history will know this is very special <gasps> mother's day is also coming up and I'm just feeling very emotional about it oh god Whew, i need to pull myself together so we're very very early so i have time to pull myself together um little one woke up at 5 a.m to practice her waving which I completely, you know, that is like very important thing to practice at 5 a.m. So that's okay. Um, but it means that she's due her nap now, basically. She's actually a little bit overdue her nap now. Um, I think she's just quite excited on the tube watching everything and it was quite busy. So we're very early because I want her to sleep beforehand because I feel like it will be really nice sensory for her. Obviously, she's not going to really understand what she's looking at or anything like that. She's eight months old. But I think it's going to be really good sensory for her if she ends up needing to sleep during it. It's absolutely fine. She can watch this back one day and see it for herself. Um, but yeah, people keep joking to me that I'm instilling expensive taste into her young with this exhibition today. Um, so that's funny. Hello. So yeah, we're going to have a nice day together. I think after the exhibition obviously depending on how she is i brought lunch with us for her i think i might get a little scone and tea at the vna cafe again just depending how busy it is um <clears throat> but it's a lovely day and we have about how long let me check my phone we have about an hour until our um slot to go in our ticket time which is at 9 40 so i reckon she's gonna fall asleep literally now on the way to the vna um, and then it's really nice out, really mild and lovely. Um, so I'll just sit outside the v &A and she can have her little nap. Yeah, she keeps trying to eat my hair. I always have my hair up, um, but I attempted to give it a little blow dry yesterday, especially for today. That's what we're doing today. Um, hopefully my tears are out now. I'm not gonna cry the whole way around the exhibition. Um, let's see if I cry every, every time I come out with these special dates. I imagine I probably will for a while. Um, because they're just extortionately special um, and also sad that my other little one isn't coming with us but as always it's just the mix of both emotions the immense gratitude for this precious one um, as well well this is new since I last came here there's a farm girl cafe in South Kensington now I've been to the one in Notting Hill which is very well known um, but this place is a nice little spot if you want kind of some healthy uh, food. It's really nice in there. Um, nicely decor. Uh, nicely decor? Nice decor. And outdoor seating as well. So the entrance to the, um, well the best way to enter for the Chanel Expo is through the entrance on Exhibition Road. Um, if you are coming yourself or if you ever find you're having an exhibition um, in this area, best always enter from Exhibition Road, which is that road just down there. Opposite there is Science Museum and also the Natural History Museum. All of these museums are free except for paid for exhibitions. Um, that's one of the greatest things about London is our museums are free entry um, and then when an exhibition's on you can pay for tickets or buy tickets for that. Right we're in. Little one's still asleep. I'm gonna just see when she wakes up. Um, but yeah it's exciting and they have a lift.
think you guys can probably hear the music. It's so beautifully peaceful and relaxing. Such such a nice mood in here with the with the lighting dimmed as well. Um, these dresses are all from the 20s. Incredible that they've been preserved like this. More from the late 20s. And it, just to give you guys an idea of what it's like in here as well, all I can smell is Chanel number no. 5, which is a beautiful thing to smell um, for me. My mother, <laughs> little one's trying to touch the camera, she's woken up, but my own mother, my mummy, she was always doused in Chanel number no. 5 and it's just so lovely to smell. I don't know if it's part of the exhibition or if everyone else who's here today has put their Chanel perfume on, but it is really lovely scents in here, just so beautiful. I really hope this exhibition has a fragrance section because Chanel fragrances are some of my favourite to explore and give me a lot of nostalgia. I've never seen this before but it looks like the inside of the fabric of the coat is the same as the dress. A really unique way to, to pair them together. I remember years ago going to an exhibition. I've been to many Chanel exhibitions um, and always enjoyed them. The vibe they give, <clears throat> it's just, I don't really know if the vibes were the ambiance. It's always just fantastic. <laughs> I wish you guys could see what I can see. I have a little hand desperate for this camera. Um, but one of the exhibitions I've been to before was the little black dress. Um, if they ever do that exhibition again, I really recommend it. Um, so it's nice to see parts of that featured here. Um, I'll show you some of the, the black dresses. Yay, we've entered the perfume area. Um, it's all about the original bottle of number five, but I'm thinking they're going to show other ones as well and how the shape of it is inspired by the aerial view of Place Vendor. This is amazing, there's a handwritten letter here from Queen Elizabeth to um, boy, well as we know him, Capel, because um, he gifted the Queen a Chanel number no. 5. Wow, look at this guys. Something I find so incredible about Chanel, which I feel like other designer brands and luxury brands don't have is they've stayed so true to their original branding. This is so similar, if not basically the same as 2024 branding. Sorry about the stripy lines. Um, but other brands don't do that. They don't stay too true to their heritage like that. Even the little size perfume bottle for your handbag. You can buy this today. It's just incredible. So we've entered the room of the suits. Let me see if I can correct this fuzzy line for you guys. That might be a little bit better. The setup of this is so cool to see. It goes the whole way around the room and it's double layered. So many suits, seeing how they've evolved, the different seasons of them. I love this houndstooth one. Such a classic, iconic piece of clothing. Wow guys, this is the prototype of the original um, first design of the two-tone slingback. Um, I actually wore Chanel slingbacks as my wedding shoes, they're very special. Little one will wear them one day, hopefully we have the same size feet. Um, but they're just, just such a classic, so chic, so elegant, it's really beautiful. This is so beautiful. Um, they've set it up to resemble the staircase in Rue Cambon. A uh, very famous staircase there. In the Chanel store in Paris, it's just beautiful. We've finished the exhibition. I'm about to sit down and have a little cake and a cup of tea and this one will have some food as well. Um, but I thought I'd show you the outdoor courtyard in case you haven't seen it before. You can actually hire this area for weddings. Very, very expensive, but I mean, just stunning. So beautiful. In the summer, um, 
this area is completely full and like I said the entrance to the V&A is free so you could come in even just kind of sit here go to the cafe have some lunch or have some cake and then enjoy this beautiful outdoor space you can see there's seating all around here it's such a lovely little spot um, and then that area over there uh, just that little hut also serves tea and cakes um, maybe it would be nice sitting out here actually but inside looks really beautiful as well so maybe when it's a bit warmer we'll do that <laughs> So I got a little cake uh, rather than a scone. I got a pear and caramel cake, which sounds interesting. Well, I'll let you know how that is. And then I also got some tea um, and some oat milk because can't ever refuse a little cup of tea. And the tray is gorgeous with one of the V&A prints all over it. My um, caramel and pear cake is really nice. It's really sweet and it's not dry at all. We're sitting, yes darling, we're sitting just behind the cafe. It's quite busy as you can hear, but this room is just so beautiful. I mean, look at the details on the ceiling. And then these massive lights. Such a beautiful museum. She's got such a cute outfit on today. I've removed her socks for the time being. Um, but look how cute this is. It's got pretty daisies on it. Um, I just got this on Vinted. I think it's Sainsbury's or Tesco. And it comes with a matching jumper. But she's just wearing it with her Zara cardigan today, which is pink. Um, and then she's got a Zara oops, a heart vest under, like a long sleeve top. Um, and these are from Vinted as well. Whilst little one, she's still not due her next nap yet. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm talking about you, Missy. Yes, I am, cutie tootie. She's got her first tooth, guys, and it's so cute. Just like pokes through. Every time she's like smiling and talking, it is gorgeous. Um, I'm wondering if she'll have her second one by Easter, and then she'll look like a little bunny. Or I guess bunny teeth are at the top, aren't they? Uh, an upside down bunny. Oh, half a bunny. Half a bunny. Yes, gorgeous. You want me to talk to you? Yes. Um, yeah, so because she's not really due her nap yet, and it's still kind of early, and she's definitely full because she's... Yes, you've had your whole breakfast and most of your lunch. Hungry girl. Um, I might just see if the other fashion area here is open um, and have a look there. Um, a quick whiz around maybe but there is also something I want to do when I get back to Richmond they have a toast clothing store there yes hello gorgeous practicing our waving again um, and there's a pair of gingham trousers that I am madly in love with and I really want to try on um, so the, the toast store in Richmond is very small they do also have a toast on the Kings Road and we're not far from there but I think it's better to get closer to home we're more that end um, just so that we're home for her, her afternoon nap, which is her long nap. Um, but yeah, we're having such a good time, aren't we? We've had a great day. Yes, gorgeous. I think things like this, they're not always going to go to plan. Um, but for me, I have a checklist of what keeps her and makes her happy. She needs one-on-one -on -one time, obviously having a clean nappy, having a full tummy, getting lots of cuddles and making sure she has a good, good nap. Um, imagine I'm like oh there's only a few things and then I list like 50 things that keep her happy no those are basically it um, I think most babies are probably like that 
and then she's just pretty happy she definitely needs that one-on-one -on -one time she needs her cuddles we always say she has a cuddle cup and as long as her cuddle cup is full happy baby um but yeah she's doing so well i'm so proud of her she really enjoyed the exhibition and this is going to be the start of many mummy daughter adventures i'm going to try go maybe weekly will be too much but i'm going to try go definitely multiple times a month and vlog them and i just like this is the start of my outwards adventures anyway that's the plan let's go see if that other fashion area is on the other side here i don't think i'm going to go looking for it for too long because like i said i really want to try those toast trousers they may not even have them in the richmond store because it's quite a small store but we can see so i've made it to the fashion area there's a little exhibition on called diva it's running until the 7th of april it's sponsored by netta porter and there's stairs and i can't find anyone to help me with the buggy so can't find a ramp there's a lift but i don't know if the lift is going to take me just up these stairs let me have a look because it would be good to go up there okay a very kind person helped me up those six stairs um the diva exhibition is just here i don't want to show too many people's faces that's always a challenge with vlogging um and that's a paid for exhibition but this whole area here is included in um well the vna so everything that's free here um and yet kind of goes through fashion history and different types of clothes um and they often change what's here um, so it's quite nice always to pop in and have a look at the clothes if you do enjoy that 